Now, if the exercises we've done so far are hard enough, I give you a single leg exercise. One leg is doing all the work, the other leg not really doing anything, if anything at all. So, one of the biggest differences you'll see with a single leg exercise is it will be harder to keep that flat or round back. With a single leg hip thrust, what you want to do in the starting position is start with two feet, bring your feet together, and then you can raise one leg up. Push the hips up. Notice here my back is starting to extend a little bit. No big deal. It's just a very difficult exercise. Keep one leg up and apply most of the pressure through the leg that's planted into the ground. Now, to make that a little bit harder, let's add a dumbbell. I got a 25 pounder that's a little excessive. I'd recommend starting with a five or a 10 or a 15, but let's go through this. If I can do it, then you can do a 10. All right, so this dumbbell only goes on one leg and it goes on the leg that's pushing into the ground. You're gonna keep it off of this leg entirely because you wanna keep it really close to your body. So push it up and down, up and down. This is a weighted single leg hip thrust. Very difficult. I challenge you on that one. Now, different variations of this one. You got the pause at the top, or the isometric hold, or the iso hold. That is here. Holding it, if you can, obviously I can. Up, hold this position, hold it, hold it, hold it, focus on squeezing the glute. Now, if that's too hard for you, we're going to do an eccentric repetition. Eccentric is the movement on the way down. So again, push up, hold it if you can, but if not, slowly go down. Push up with both feet, raise one leg, and slowly down. This is eventually going to give you the strength to push with just one leg. So the eccentric, you can use two legs to get up, but only one leg to get down. Another variation, we're gonna throw a hip thrust march into it. Now it looks like you're marching in that position. Bring your feet close together, push the hips up, one leg straightens out. You can hold this for three seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you want. Bring your foot back together and raise the other one. Feet back together, raise the other one. The whole time, try to keep the hips up. This is a very difficult exercise. We're gonna run through a bunch of those in the workout and see if you can get it done.